This fan I'm standing next to is about to ship out to one of our customers. And when it does, they're going to install it. Now when they install it, they're gonna hook up ductwork on the inlet, likely on the outlet. But this particular fan is likely to be mounted to a structure that doesn't have that much mass. Something like a mezzanine. Or maybe it's going on top of a roof. And they wanna protect the vibrations from the fan from transferring through to that structure. So this fan has vibration isolators. Now these vibration isolators are going to mount inside of these height saving brackets, just like this when it's on site. So it'll be on the ground like this, the bracket will go on top, this tape will come off, this bolt will run through, right here securing the fan to the isolator. Now on this particular one, there are four isolators. They've got springs inside of them. And within these height saving brackets, they're going to rest about, the, the base of the fan is going to rest about one inch off of the ground, as opposed to not having the brackets and having the fan be about six inches off the ground. So why would you install vibration isolators? Well, you wanna protect the vibrations of the fan from transferring through to its foundation. Typically you do these in an application where there's insufficient mass in the foundation that is supporting the fan. Now, if you install vibration isolators, it's very important to make sure that you don't have a rigid connection at your inlet or at your outlet. So make sure you have flex connectors to put into your application, because what these do is they give you a flexible connection between your outlet and the ductwork and the inlet and the ductwork, and they allow that fan to float a little bit on the isolators without destroying your ductwork. So if you have an application that needs to be elevated off the ground and protected from the vibrations of the fan, get yourself some vibration isolators and get some flex connectors between your duct and the fan.